I'm sorry, Dr. Santini. It's uh, very nice of you to consider me, but no, it's not really my style. He paused, looking at that fascinating spot over her head. I could get you back into the oncology program in Hyannis or somewhere in Boston. Lark blinked a few times. How, how could you do that? He shrugged. I carry a lot of influence. I went to Johns Hopkins with the president of Dana-Farber. You're not stupid, just embarrassingly emotional from what I hear. He glanced at his watch. Twenty-five grand, and I introduce you to the right people, and the rest is up to you. What if you think I'm an idiot? It would be unethical to recommend me to a profession you think I can't hack. I said I'd introduce you, not recommend you. Still, it would be like Bill Gates saying, there's a young programmer I want you to meet. Obviously, she'd have to carry the ball into the end zone on her own merit, but she could do that. She would do that. You don't think that would be unethical? No, I would never do something that would breach my ethical standards. Like ask a younger doctor who works at a hospital where you're a god to pose as your girlfriend? He glared at her. You know what? The offer is off the table. I thought, given today's professional humiliation, you might be interested in what is a completely unromantic business arrangement. Forget I asked. Wait, hold on. She took a bite of cake staring at him while she chewed. What aren't you telling me? Because there was something, she was sure. Being single wasn't so awful that a person would rent a date. In fact, she had the impression Lorenzo Santini liked being single. Jesus never dated, after all. He shifted, folded his napkin very precisely. My grandmother was put on hospice a few weeks ago. I don't want her to die concerned about me being too alone. Oh, no. Those were two powerful words right there. Hospice and alone. She herself knew the feeling all too well. Dr. Satan had an Achilles heel, and it was a sick old lady 